Hello and welcome. This is Rufamonger. And today, friends, well, we're talking dolphins. By very popular request, we're going to talk about how to survive and deal with maze dolphins because some people are having some trouble with them. Now, this guide's going to be a little double edged sword because I'm going to teach you how to survive and deal with dolphins. And I'm also going to teach you the play and counterplay, and thus, in the end, also kind of teach you how to abuse dolphins. So if you want to play against May, this should help you. And if you want to play May, this should also help you as well. So that all said here, we're specifically talking about the horizontal dolphins. The vertical dolphins, no, they're all right, but they're not the ones people are complaining about. So this will be about the fast dolphin, the slash dolphin, and the slow dolphin, the heavy slash dolphin. They both do different things. They're both useful in different ways. And they have very different properties, which is what you absolutely have to know to survive against it. So now let's get into it. So the fast dolphin and the slow dolphin, that's what we'll call them from now on, right? Uh, they're both different in a very key important way, and that's specifically on block. So the fast dolphin is negative on block. So it's specifically negative five, which means it's not punishable but all things being equal, the enemy will recover before May. The person who blocked recovers before May. So if you both just start mashing at the same time, most of the time, the enemy is going to win. We'll get more into that later. Uh, the heavy, the slow dolphin. The slow dolphin is advantage on block, plus five on block. So all things being equal, May recovers before the person who just blocked. So in that same scenario, if you're just both mashing at the same time, May, for the most part, is going to win at that point. So these are the two things that really need to be hammered home. The quick dolphin is May's disadvantage. The slow heavy dolphin is May's advantage. Basically, the long story short is it's very critical, and it can be hard in a live fire situation, but it's very critical to determine which one is which. The slow one versus the quick one because that determines everything May can get away with and everything you have option-wise. When the quick one happens, you get the challenge. When the heavy one happens, you really don't get the challenge, right? Uh, and the thing is, if you just start mashing buttons whenever you see a dolphin and say it was the quick one, you could win. But if it was the heavy one, then you're going to lose out. So now let's talk those particulars. So one of the big things to know here before anything else as well is either dolphin, it doesn't matter which, has a decent amount of pushback. So, like, basic punches and stuff just won't reach. So, if you're looking to connect with the enemy, you're probably going to try for, like, your mediums and stuff like that. Your slash buttons. So, now, with that said here, when Kai blocks, he's going to challenge with stand slash. This is kind of his go-to poke, right? And as far as stand slashes go, it's pretty alright. Uh, it's fairly quick for what it is, decent speed, all that kind of stuff. So, now, after a fast dolphin we're gonna try to mash sand slash ourselves and let's see what happens okay we got counter hit right uh and that's gonna be the story pretty much the entire time here is we're gonna get counter hit because since we are at disadvantage after the fast one being blocked basically our button isn't fast enough to do it even uh for may her crouch slash which is actually faster than her stand slash uh, it's still too slow, and we're still going to get beat out. We just can't challenge. So, all things being equal here, when you block the faster version of the dolphin, you get to stick out a button like that. That's kind of how it works. May, if she tries to smash anything, and a lot of Mays will just go berserk, right? They'll go dolphin, and then they'll toss out another button, cancel another dolphin, hit another button, cancel another dolphin, and so on and so forth, right? So, you will stuff all that kind of stuff. Now, the slow dolphin, the heavy dolphin, not so much. Once again, this is May's advantage on block. So therefore, if I try to like hit him with stand slash here, I win, not Kai, because it's my turn. And from that being a counter hit, I can go into another dolphin, right? Or, you know, whatever. There's all sorts of tricks and gimmicks you can do from there. So that's the big thing. Slow dolphin equal not your turn. Fast dolphin equals your turn. Now, there's a lot more to it than that as well, so, well, let's get into it. As long as neither of you are in the corner, a giant layer to all this is the backdash. As the backdash, well, it's invincible. Uh, it's not invincible all the way, but it definitely is invincible in the start and when you're getting a lot of your backwards movement. 
and that leads to a lot of the play slash counterplay. So once again here, we have Kai, he's gonna challenge after block, and against the Quick Dolphin, we know we can't hit him, right? Like, we're not gonna hit buttons, we're losing. But if we were to say, backdash it, well... Yeah, in the corner, you're reading that right, you're reading that right. That says punish. So against a lot of characters, after you successfully block a quick dolphin, and yes, it's, you know, on paper, your turn, if you dare stick out that button to try to stop me from challenging you again, which, you know, a lot of maids will do, you can backdash it and immediately dolphin them back in the face and punish them for trying. Now, there's a bit of a double-edged sword to this with an extra unfair layer, but uh, we'll talk about that in a second. So now, let's look at it backwards, right? So Mei doing the heavy dolphin, and then she's gonna press afterwards, right? So by that same logic, you know, same situation, right? Negative five, plus five, all that kind of stuff. Can you backdash it? Yep, you definitely can, right? So that's pretty cool. Now, a lot of characters don't have necessarily a fast enough move to whiff punish uh, stuff like her down slash, which is, well, you know, that's how it is. Uh, but there's the unfair layer to this. If May does standing slash instead of crouching slash, which all things being equal, crouch slash is the better button to hit. Uh, but if she does standing slash instead, well, it'll stuff your back dash. Why? Because it has more active frames, has a longer hitbox, and your invincibility frames just kind of run out and you get tapped. So while, you know, you can kind of give her a taste of her own medicine a little bit, it really depends on the May player's preference of which button they want to press afterwards. And if they want to press that specific button, well, then you can't backdash it. And before you get any uh, crazy ideas about doing forward and punch for that upper body invincibility, against May, not so much. Her anchor hits low enough to the ground, uh, and this is either stand slash or crouch slash. Either way, it's going to hit the lower part of your body, and you're not going to be able to do the upper body invincibility versus her slash buttons after a heavy dolphin. So now's the big one here, is you're gonna be dealing with dolphins on block a lot, right? She's gonna do whatever normal she's gonna do and then immediately cancel into a dolphin. And it could be a light dolphin, it could be a heavy dolphin. And the big thing that's on you at this point is you have to really see which one's gonna be which. Because it's not just a matter of hitting buttons afterwards, right? Uh, if it were that simple, it'd be, well, it'd be really easy. The thing is, if she does a fast dolphin and you try to hit a button, none of your buttons are gonna be fast enough. And no, forward punch has no upper body invincibility versus dolphins. Uh, the dolphins hit low enough, they will stuff it. So if you try to challenge and it's a fast dolphin, you're opening yourself up to getting counter hit and then eating another dolphin as part of a combo. Uh, so watch out for that. Now, if it happens to be the slower dolphin, that you can stop. And you can stop it on reaction, right? But the thing is, when she starts mixing and matching them heavily, it can be hard. Like, yeah, technically the slower dolphin, the heavier dolphin, it's reactable. But when you're up against the exact same animation that's just simply faster, it gets visually confusing. And that's the rough part. So the best defense I have found so far is simply this. Block whatever move she commonly does the dolphin from. Uh, it'll be different player to player, but... Whatever you find they commonly do the dolphin move from, block, wait a split second, then hit jab or slash or whatever button is good for you. So right now, May, she's gonna alternate between fast and slow dolphins. I have no idea which one's gonna be which. So all I can do here is simply block, and then I'll wait a split second after the initial attack, and then I'll just press jab. So what happens here is this. Basically, I'll block in time. Like, I'm holding the button, I'm pressing it late enough that it happens to be the fast dolphin, then my move won't come out because I'm hitting the button basically after I would have blocked anyways. And if it is the slower dolphin, then I will have stuffed it, as you can see there. So basically, just delay your button press. Just block and delay. So if it's the quick dolphin, you're good to go. Your move wouldn't have come out anyways because you're blocking. And if it is the indeed the slower dolphin, then you'll stuff it. Uh, the dolphin doesn't have the best hitbox, so it's basically, that's the best answer I've found so far. Now, there's a lot of ways you can do this. 
Now, once again, I mentioned how Forward and uh, Punch doesn't have any invincibility against the Dolphin, and it doesn't, but most of them have a invincible forward hitbox, meaning uh, you can kind of like stuff the incoming of the Dolphin. It won't have reached you yet. It won't hit your like feet or whatever yet, but uh, you will be able to stuff it out of the air. So it is good in that regard. So once again, do a small delay. Just block, then delay, then do it. So if they do the fast Dolphin, you'll just stay blocking. And if they do the slower Dolphin, then you'll have time to stick it out. You can still get counter hit, right? It's not infallible, but against this pressure, it does work. Now, once we understand a lot of this kind of counterplay and all that kind of stuff, then you got to think about maximizing it. Because honestly, a single hit, a jab, even four punch, whatever, that's not going to discourage me. Like you hit her for like five or 10%. It's like whatever. Like uh, as someone who truly understands the gorilla brain of a lot of fighting game characters, trust me, that is not enough of a deterrence. So you gotta kind of really maximize your damage output. So instead of simply getting, you know, like a basic hit, at least try to get like some kind of follow up. Just get a little bit more damage. So in our forward punch example, that special cancelable, we can at least get a fireball after it. For really on the ball, in fact, we can get a super after it for Kai, right? And that's a lot more damage. That's a lot more discouraging, right? So now if you ate that much damage, then we're less inclined to spam dolphins all the time. Different characters can want different things out of these situations, right? So say someone like Potemkin, you can go for slide head, it'll armor through it, and it'll put her in a hard knockdown situation of which he's directly on top of her, and then, you know, all the time is guess an attack or guess pile driver, something like that, right? So for him, maybe that's a little bit more beneficial than just getting raw damage, because honestly, you know, he can't get much, and Heat Knuckle is going to miss after jabs like 90% of the time. So perhaps a more beneficial situation like the hard knockdown can work for him. For someone like Angie, Angie has the twirl move with like active defense built into it, so he can get much bigger punishes in these situations. As you can see there, right? So for him specifically as well, this is just really good defense against random dolphins, as any random dolphin will run into the twirl, get countered, and you get a free punish. And for someone like uh, Leo, Leo's basically got a flash kick style of reversal anyways. You're probably already holding down back. So when you see the dolphin, just hit up and slash or heavy slash and just uppercut that thing out of the sky, right? Easy as that. Uh, you don't even need great reactions. As soon as you see the dolphin, just go for it. It's invulnerable frame one anyways, so it works. And Leo's one of the few characters in the situation of the fast dolphin, since this attack's invincible anyways, uh, a lot of other characters, if they try something, they get stuffed by the fast dolphin. But his stuff's invincible, so whatever, let's go. You can just uppercut through it no matter what. Now, everything I've told you up to this point all precludes, like, you know, them doing the dolphin, right? That's the point of the video. Uh, and that's going to work for most May players. But what if you run into, like, the most dangerous thing of all? A smart May player, right? Where, like, they can hit the buttons and all that, and maybe they don't do dolphin right away afterwards. So all that time and like, okay, I'm going to reversal that dolphin. And then there was no dolphin coming and you just reversaled. At that point, my friend, you're in for a rough day of it. Because, yeah, she can beat you up pretty bad if you just do things without actually visually seeing the dolphins coming. So even something as seemingly harmless as the forward punch example we did earlier, right? Uh, if they don't follow up with the dolphin and you hit a button, that's a free punish. So... It behooves you early on against a lot of the more, well, frankly, brain dead maze who always go for dolphins. Do delay like actions, like block, delay, then hit something. So you'll still block the fast dolphin and smack the heavy dolphin out of it. But against the smarter may player who not only, you know, randomizes between fast and slower dolphins, and sometimes they throw in no dolphin and that's gonna throw up your whole game plan. Don't be so hung up on thinking you're catching the dolphin and instead you're the one that got caught in the end, right? That can be a big problem. Now, one more final thing to mention here. Yeah, dolphin has all sorts of cool properties. Uh, like it even counter hits into itself with the, the fast one and the slow one is so advantage on counter hit, you can combo into the command grab. Like, that's crazy, right? Uh, but one thing about the base regular fast dolphin, the one that's gonna hit probably most of the time is base regular dolphin on regular hit. So, you know, a lot of times when you get hit like by dolphin, like that kind of stuff, 
it is indeed slightly negative on hit. A uh, negative two specifically. Now, in the end, what does this mean? Frankly, honestly, not too much because the distance it puts you back at. So this is the distance you reset at after you're hit by the dolphin. And negative two at this far away, it's more a suggestion than anything else. But uh, if you have a decent long range poke button, like say Kai does, right? In a lot of cases, if you catch her just mashing slash again right away after the dolphin hits, you can actually stuff her because uh, she is negative two. Once again, this is case by case, character by character, right? But if you have a decent fast poke, just keep that in mind. After you get hit by the dolphin, you have a slight advantage. Now, when I say slight, I mean slight. Because, frankly put, you're still in this situation where she can just backdash and slam you with another friggin' dolphin, right? That is still in effect. And the fact she still has Crouch Slash, which is very fast and destroying a hitbox. So against a lot of characters, she'll just trade with you. Or against some characters with slower buttons, she'll just beat you outright. But still, just so you know, the dolphin is slightly negative on hit. Heavy dolphin though? No, 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 no. Don't hit buttons after heavy dolphin. You're gonna get beat. So in the end, that's basically about the long and short about the dolphins play, counterplay, all that kind of stuff. It's really on you, sadly, in the end to determine which one's the fast one, which one's the slow one. And considering the animations are exactly the same, just one a little faster than the other, right? It can be hard in the middle of a battle, right? You're gonna mistake one for the other every now and then, and uh, you're probably gonna pay the price for it, which sucks, but them is the breaks. Uh, the Dolphin is a core part of the May game plan, right? Uh, that's even without getting into Mr. Arasagawa and the wonderful and dynamic Mr. Gosha Gawara, because he's his own thing as well, right? Uh, but yeah, that is the Dolphin. So I hope in the end you have learned a little bit of what's possible, and hopefully you can defend yourself a little bit better. And on the flip, you probably learned how to abuse it a little bit as well if you watch this as well. So hey, future May players, you're welcome. And with all that said, my friends, that's the end of the video. So thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well. Go out and play some Guilty Gear.